Well, at this time, can we invite Penn and his father out to the dance floor? Here he comes! Make some noise, please!
truly happy that you are here celebrating this moment with us. For those of you who don't know me, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Belisa, but you can call me Beba. And I was born to be by me maid of honor. Not, not only because I'm her youngest favorite, to say the least, wonderful sister, but because we are each other's first and longest friend. Let me tell you guys that I was slightly nervous about this task, so I made sure I wrote everything down because I didn't want to miss a thing. I was a little bit anxious because these are big shoes to fill. Not only she's one of the most important people in my life, but this is one of the most important days of her life. This beautiful bride, sister, friend, mother, daughter, mentor, deserves everything that has happened to her. And I'm so honored to be standing here tonight as her right hand. Our relationship has always been solid. Not to say that we never fought or have any disagreement, but our life together is filled with laugh and a lot of fun memories. She has always been there to protect me and make sure that I make the right decisions. Not to say that I did, <laughs> but she has always tried her best to give me a good example to follow and to be the best she can possibly be. And to be honest with you, with you all, she excelled the job. I think I can speak from everyone in this room. She's a role model. And we want to say thank you, Pani. Thank you for being a great example. <laughs> in these 30 years, we have created so many beautiful memories together. Even though we are totally different, we do have our times when we are in sync with each other. And that's mostly when we dance. <laughs> have any of you have seen us dance at Group Bachata? Yeah. yeah! I encourage you all not to leave early tonight because it's definitely worth the show. Yeah. Not too sure about Johan and his dance skills, yeah. but the man sure has some amazing qualities. He's loving, he's caring, and he's super smart. I'm confident that even though he won't be able to dance with her, <laughs> the way that I do, the way that I do, he will take care of her and make her as happy as she is when she dances with me. <laughs> you got Both of them are such a good people, deserving of each other's love and an inspiration to all of us. I have an incredible sister already, and I'd be doubly blessed this night by gaining a brother too. Before I ask everyone to raise their glasses, to cheers, and to celebrate, I want you guys to face each other. I want you guys to face each other and, room, and look right in each other's eyes. Marriage is understanding, it's patience, it's forgiveness, it's communication, it is a lot of work. There are ups and there will be downs, 
when things get hard, I want you guys to think of this very moment and think of how happy you guys are and how we love you guys are with each other. And let this burning feeling in your chest and these beautiful memories live forever and help you guys go through any hardship in your marriage. So with that being said, I want you all to raise your glasses. Fanny and Johan, we salute you both and wish you and wish you both an incredibly happy and long life together. Thank you. You guys know I'm, I'm always a funny guy, cracking jokes, but today is, you know, serious business, right? So I want to start off by obviously speaking about Johan, um, loyal, caring, sincere, honest, a great man. Um, I was talking about myself there, but I'm, you know, we're going to talk about... We're going to talk about the newlyweds now, right? Now we're going to talk about the newlyweds, right? Here we go. So first I want to say thank you. Uh, you know, thank you to everyone that made this, you know, this magical day, uh, you know, possible. Uh, also, thank you to everyone that had to travel, like she said, to be here. Uh, had to sacrifice whatever you had to, you know, had to sacrifice to be here. Thank you all. Uh, my name is Alex, officially Johan's brother-in-law. Um, I'm so glad to be here on this occasion uh, to celebrate this wonderful day with my brother. It's my first time being a best man, actually. So it's an honor for me to have been asked by Johan to be his best man. Um, I know that if the circumstances were different, someone else would have been in my place. You know, so I just want to say that he loves you, he's proud of you, and you know, he's going to be with us soon. So, you know, so while we're not blood brothers, siblings, lifelong, lifelong friends, um, I could say that, you know, I consider our relationship a life-changing relationship, you know? Um, honestly speaking, John has always, you know, been the kind of guy to leave an imprint on your heart. You know, you guys know this. Um, a bit on the craziest side than I was used to, but, you know, he, you know, he has that good heart. Uh, you know, I remember when we first met about three and a half years ago and I was going through a transition of changing my life around. John played one of the biggest roles in my life. He gave me the hope that it didn't matter where he came from. Um, you know, it didn't matter, you know, what battles you were facing in life. One can always change. And, you know, with your drive, your determination, your intelligence, you know, you, you, you show that it's possible. Um, and I've been able to I've been able to witness what an upstanding guy you've become. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'm not only speaking for myself when I say thank you for having such a great impact in not only my life but our lives. Um, now we know how strong you are, bro, but we also know who wears the pants. Right? Like, you know, right? um, and by me, you I mean you look absolutely beautiful. I. I I couldn't, you know, I didn't even know. You look beautiful, stunning. <laughs> wow. Um, you know, Johan, you tried your best. I mean, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you tried. And, you know, I give you that. Um, <laughs> you know, I, uh, I witnessed, you know, your transition by me um, from the time that, you know, you were that hostess, uh, raising with your daughters as a single parent. I've witnessed all of that from the very beginning. Um, and, and, you know, to now being an outstanding role model with beautiful qualities is just, uh, it's, it's unspeakable, honestly. Um, you both have been able to bring the best out of each other, um, all while helping to build in areas where one might be weak. And that's something that's admirable. Um, if there's one advice that I can give, and I'm not going to bombard you guys with advice, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other people here that you're going to be getting advices from you know throughout the whole night. But I think if there's one thing that um, there's one advice I can give you, which is funny because you guys touched on it while you were you know reading the vows, um, and it just shows how strong you know that 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 bond is with you guys. And 
So that one advice is to always try and remember that before lovers, before partners, uh, before husband and wife, you guys were friends. Um, never stop having fun. Never stop cracking jokes. Uh, never stop laughing and never stop enjoying quality time with each other. Um, it's been amazing watching your relationship unfold into what it's become and I, I couldn't be more happy to think of what the future has in store for the both of you. Um, so I'd like all you guys to join me in wishing the new Mr. and Mrs. Marte all the wealth, health, and happiness in the world to the bride and groom. I think we have one more person that wants to say something. Hi guys, I'm kind of nervous. So, <laughs> um, so when I when Johan first came to the picture, I thought he was taking my mom away from me. She started going out more than usual, and I couldn't even sleep with her. When he moved in with us, I was confused. Me and Kenny were on to them. Every day, <laughs> every day, me and Kenny would tell my mom, "Is that your boyfriend?" And the answer would be usually, to usually not answer, or it would be no. After I met Leanna and Annalie, I knew it was official. We got used to Johan eventually. I love my mom and Johan so much, and I don't know what I would do without them. Johan's like a father to me, and I always be my mom's little girl. Um, and Annalie and Kami, they're too nervous to come to, so I'm going to say something for them. I know you wanted to say congratulations on the wedding and I'm so proud of you guys. And Kami wanted to say, I hope you guys had a great time and I hope and she hopes for the best. Oh, <laughs> and without further ado, the newlyweds themselves, please give them a big round of applause. First of all, I want to thank God for granting us the opportunity to live our life and pursue our dreams and goals. For without God's grace, we wouldn't have the ability to do all the things that we do. Amen. 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 So to, to Amen. the men, toast to the men upstairs. <clears throat> he generally makes me the happiest man alive to be able to stand here and say, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, on behalf of my wife and I. Yay! Welcome to our wedding, and thank you sincerely for sharing this special day with us. It's great to see you all. Taking days of work and traveling from all sorts of distances, we truly appreciate. We truly appreciated it, and generally blows our mind to see what you guys do for free dinner and open bar. Ah! <laughs> On a serious note. We are grateful for all of you being here and celebrating this special day with us. Your love is felt. <clears throat> Thank you for all your gifts and generous, generous contributions to our honeymoon. I can honestly say it wouldn't be the same without all of you being here today. Although it, had, although it would have been a lot less stressful making this speech in an empty room. <laughs> <clears throat> If you could be upstanding and please join me in raising a toast to family and friends present and absent. Toast to family and friends. Oh. I'm sure many of you know events like today don't just happen. We've both been planning this wedding for quite some time. Well, when I say we, I actually mean by me and the wedding planner and her team. They did all the hard work. They planned the entire day from the sweetheart table to the flowers, all the decorations you hear. And we can honestly all agree that they've done a great job. Yeah. Yeah. So toast to Sophie, her team, and Pai Me as well for putting this yeah. together. I also want to take, uh, take the time to thank everyone who's investing time to making this wedding special for us, from the servers to the AV team to the band the fishing, the hotel staff, the flower team, and anyone I might have missed, we appreciate you guys immensely. <laughs> Huge thanks to Pami's parents, Maya Sanchez and Percy Obias, 
we wouldn't have been here today if it wasn't for you. Thank you for raising such a beautiful daughter, an intelligent, stubborn daughter. <laughs> and of course, for letting me have her hand in marriage. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> I can assure you both that her happiness is so important to me and I promise to do you both proud. Mom, Mom. Know we are, yeah. but I wanna thank you for always being uh, there for me with unconditional love and support. You allowed me to make my own decisions in life and being there to pick the pieces back off when it's all falling apart. I appreciate you, everything you've done for me and I love you very much. <laughs> However, <laughs> before we raise the toast to the parents, I would just like to turn our attention to our kids. Uh, it's not easy. <laughs> it's never easy bringing two families together, especially when children are in those difficult ages. And we all know that any age is difficult as a kid. <laughs> there have been so many ups and downs, and it hasn't been an easy ride for any of us at times. But you four, you continually do us so proud in your own unique ways. And as much as we have great parents, we also have four special children too. Ananda, Kami, Anneli, and Yana. Thank you for putting up, up with our constant nagging and supporting our lives together as we take this journey together as a family. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you to be of standing in? For those who haven't fallen asleep yet, raise your glasses and let's give a toast to family. <laughs> this wedding couldn't have gone ahead without the love and support of a team of bridesmen and groomsmen. So to my groomsmen, thank you for making sure things run smoothly today and for turning up at 12.45 p.m. sober. <laughs> <laughs> you guys came into my life at the perfect moment when unfortunate circumstances temporarily took away my brother. Life brought me four more into my life. Thank you for being friends that I can rely on and for supporting me over the last five years. This was the most important day of my life, and I'm so glad to have you guys up there sharing this with me. We love you guys. We love you. As for the bridesmaids, thank you for all of your love and support, and to our lovely maid of honor, Beba, you have been really outdone yourself. Thank you for supporting Paimi along the way. She couldn't have picked a better maid of honor. <laughs> Paimi came down the aisle looking stress-free and as she didn't have a care in the world, so whatever you gave her this morning obviously did the trick. <laughs> you, you all look beautiful. Obviously not as beautiful as Pine Needles. Oh, damn. You're amazing and we love you. Over the past couple of weeks, people kept asking me if I was nervous. The answer was, hell yeah. <laughs> of course I was nervous. I was nervous about the vows. I was nervous about the dance. I was very nervous about the dance. <laughs> And I was nervous about this speech. But I can assure you though that I've never been nervous or had a single doubt getting, ma getting married to Paimi will be alongside being a dad the best thing I'll ever do in my life. I would, like, I, I would just like to say how absolutely beautiful my wife Paimi looks today. Hey. From when we first met and you were in your sweaty gym clothes and your intentions were just to recruit me into this pyramid thing. <laughs> it's not a pyramid. <laughs> to sliding into my DMs for six months just to see how I like my restore tablets. Uh. I'm in so awe of your happiness, your energy, your positivity, and your love for life, and cannot thank you enough for how amazing you have been to me over the past five years. I'm incredibly lucky to have met my soulmate, my best friend, and love of my life, and I can't wait to grow with you. Aww. Love you. We can all agree that Paimi is certainly something special. She is the light in so many of our lives. She loves her family, she loves our kids, and most of the time, I'm sure she probably loves me too. Ah. So let's raise a glass of final toast to my beautiful wife, Paimi. Cheers. So, I love you guys, thank you for being here.
Please, all the single guys, come on in. 